you shall not be infected by coronavirus. You shall not be infected by COVID-19. You shall not be infected by any virus or any disease. In Jesus' name, Proverbs 18 verse 10, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and is safe. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ with me, somebody. Praise the bright and morning star. Praise the ancient of days. Praise the lady of the valley. Praise our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You are most welcome to part 16 of this uh, expose on coronavirus known as coronavirus praying against it we are going to pray against this evil spirit this pandemic this epidemic we are going to pray against it and it should be well in jesus name let us start with opening prayer lord jesus we thank you lord for a time like this we thank you because your word is true we thank you because you will never leave us nor forsake us. We thank you because you will always deliver us from every evil. We thank you because even before we call upon your name, you have heard us and will answer us, Lord. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. May your name forever be praised. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord, I cover this expose with the blood of Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. We have seen in part one, part two, part three, right up to part 15, that this coronavirus is a killer. It is a weapon of mass destruction. Is killing people everywhere. It is invisible. Nobody knows where it is. You cannot escape from one city to another, or from one village to another, or from one country to another, or from one continent to another. From it, you cannot escape because it is everywhere. It is in all the five continents now. Therefore, our safety is exclusively in the Lord's. Our protection is exclusively in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. In Exodus 15, 26, the Holy Bible states, And said, If thou will diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee which I have brought upon the Egyptians. For I am the Lord that he led thee. It is crystal clear that the Lord is the only one that can indeed heal us, that can protect us, that can deliver us from this killer known as coronavirus. Deuteronomy 7.15 Deuteronomy 7.15 and the Lord will take away from thee all sickness and will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt which thou knowest upon thee. So the Bible is promising us, the Lord is promising us that he will take away all the sicknesses from, from us, all the viruses, deadly sicknesses, deadly diseases from us which are in Egypt, in other words, all the diseases in the world will not be our portion. May that be so to you in Jesus' name. Look one, look nineteen one. I mean, look nine one. Look nine one. Then he called his twelve disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases. At nineteen twelve, so that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchief or aprons 
and diseases departed from them, and the evil spirit went out of them. Act 28, 9. So when this was done, others also which had diseases in the island came and were healed. All the scriptures are telling us that the Lord heals. The Lord heals. The Lord is the answer. The Lord is the solution. The Lord is our protector. Only Him alone can protect us, can deliver us from every disease, from every virus, from every sickness. May He do so to you vis-a-vis -vis coronavirus in Jesus' name. The Lord cannot deliver you from coronavirus. He cannot save you from coronavirus if you are a rebel. You are rebelling. You are a rebel, then you are bringing God's judgment upon yourself. If you are disobeying the word of God, you are bringing God's judgment upon yourself. Believe in the Lord Jesus. Save him in holiness and righteousness. And it shall be well with you in Jesus' name. In Romans 10, 9 to 10, the Holy Bible states that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be safe. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Do so and shall be well with you in Jesus' name. You can send to us an email at the following email address worldwide bws at gmail.com and we shall pray for you. The Lord promises to answer the righteous. Hallelujah. In the Holy Bible, the Lord promises to answer the righteous. Let's look at Psalm 91 verse 15. Part A of Psalm 91 verse 15. I read, He shall call upon me and I will answer him. It is crystal clear. When the righteous calls upon the Lord, the Lord answers him. When you the righteous calls upon the Lord, he will surely answer you. In time like this, when you call upon him, he will surely answer you. In Jesus' name. Psalm 50 verse 15. Psalm 50 verse 15. And call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee. And thou shall glorify me. I read again. I'm reading Psalm 50 verse 15. And call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee. And thou shalt glorify me. So the Lord is promising that if you the righteous call upon him in the day of trouble such as this, he will deliver you and thou shalt glorify him. Use this opportunity to call upon the Lord and he will deliver you. He will protect you. In Jesus' name, declarations we are going to pray against this killer known as coronavirus this this killer this deadly uh, killer this deadly uh, virus that is killing people all over the world we are going to pray against it now we are going to make some declarations but before we but before we do so let us Look at some scriptures on which we are going to stand to make our declarations. Psalm 28 verse 7. Psalm 28 verse 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield and my heart trusted in him and I am helped. Therefore my heart greatly rejoiced and with my song will I praise him. Psalm 121 verse 8. Psalm 121 verse 8. 
The Lord shall preserve my. The Lord shall preserve thy grain and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. I'm reading Psalm 1 to the 1 verse 8. I read again. The Lord shall preserve thy grain out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Psalm 91 verse 10. There shall no evil before thee, neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling. Psalm 18 verse 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. That is Proverbs 18 verse 10. Proverbs 18 verse 10, I read again. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. Isaiah 3 Say to the righteous that it shall be well with him. I'm reading part A of Isaiah 3 Say to the righteous that it shall be well with him. So those scriptures that we have just seen, we are standing on those scriptures and we are making the following declarations against this killer known as the coronavirus. When I make the declaration, please say Amen and it shall be so in Jesus' name. Coronavirus shall not come near your dwelling in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Your spouse shall not be infected by this coronavirus your father shall not be infected by the virus your mother shall not be infected by this coronavirus your child shall not be infected by this coronavirus none of your children shall be infected in jesus name your siblings shall not be infected by the coronavirus None of your relatives shall be infected by this coronavirus in Jesus' name. It is well with you, the righteous. It is well with your spouse. It is well with your siblings. It is well with your father. It is well with your mother. It is well with your child. It is well with all your children. It is well with all your relatives in Jesus' name. If you are a businessman or a businesswoman, your customers shall not be infected by this coronavirus in Jesus' name. If you are working, you will not be fired because of this coronavirus in Jesus' name. If you are a student, you will not stop studying because of this coronavirus in the mighty name of Jesus. Your friends shall not be infected by this coronavirus. Your enemies shall not be infected, according to Matthew 5, 43 to 48, by this coronavirus in Jesus' name. Your colleagues shall not be infected by this coronavirus in the mighty name of Jesus. It is well with all your customers, you are a businessman or, 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 or businesswoman. It is well with your profession. It is well with your studies. It is well with your friends. It is where we are enemies, according to Matthew 5, 43 to 48. It is where with your colleagues, with your classmates, with your schoolmates, in Jesus' name. Begin to thank the Lord Jesus now. Thank the Lord Jesus because you are not alone. He will protect you wherever you go. He has promised to preserve your grain out and your coming in all the days of your life. He has promised that if you call upon his name, he will answer you. He will hear you. He has promised that no evil shall befall you. No evil shall come in your dwelling. Begin to thank him now in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, because your promises are here and amen. We thank you because you are not a man that should lie. We thank you because when you say something, you do it, Lord Jesus. We thank you because no evil shall come near our dwelling. 
We thank you because you, you will protect our going out and our coming in on a daily basis, all the days of our life. We thank you because this coronavirus shall not come in our dwelling. We give you all the praise, Lord. We give you all the honor. We thank you because as we have declared, so it is in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Remain blessed. And uh, we are going to continue with our teachings on holiness. See you soon. In Jesus' name. It is well with the righteous. Rejoice in the Lord and be blessed in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. See you soon. In Jesus' name. Amen. Um,